Hey guys, what's up? Zach Scott here, and I'm with my friend Samuel Sidey once again. He has made a motion-controlled talking skeleton to put out on his front porch this Halloween for the kids. That's right, Zach. Let me uh, show you how I put it together. Okay, Samuel, this skeleton talks and he's motion-controlled. Let's talk about some of the guts here. Okay, this is what powers everything. This is the Arduino, which is a wonderful microcontroller. Uh, really easy to use because I'm still a beginner at this. This is the sound shield that I... Uh, solder together. This is actually something that's produced by Lady Ada. This actually plugs right here into all of the pins on the Arduino. And then this has actually got an SD card in it. This is what actually has the WAV files on it that is what makes the skull talk. Okay. I did the voice for it. Yes, he did. He did a good job. Okay, so it's motion controlled. Let's get into that. Where's the sensor on the skeleton guy? This right here is the actual motion sensor. You can get these at Radio Shack. It's just a parallax motion sensor. Okay, so you have a you have a servo inside the skull right here that yeah, moves right here. his mouth up and down. Yeah, with the little attached to the little paper clip right here to the jaw. So there's the servo mounted right there. Okay, I see. Black box. Okay, and so it and moves the, the jaw up and down when he talks. Right, moves this jaw. Move, this basically swivels this direction, which then ends up pulling the jaw open and closed. Ooh, that's creepy. I'd like to point out that I made all of the bones attached to PVC, so then you can take and dismantle this whole thing so that you can store it easily for each Halloween. Oh, that's really cool. So you not only put a lot of work into the electronics, but also the body of the skeleton here. Yes, I did. That's what I did today. Okay, okay. so where are the speakers in this? Oh. Okay, let's lift his skirt up here. Uh-oh. Okay, so you just have... Uh, this also shows sort of how the body's uh, constructed. I, this is only like 4 or $5 worth of PVC with the connectors. But I bought a bag of bones also at the Halloween store, and I got it home, and they only gave me one hand and one foot, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite limited. Yeah. These are two super bright LED, red LEDs. Okay. And I just took a ping pong ball and cut it in half, and then used a Sharpie to color in the inside of the oh, I ping pong ball. That. And then I mounted the LEDs. I just put two holes in it so that I could slide the, the wires into the ping pong ball. Okay, Samuel, with all that together with the microcontroller down there, uh, let's take it outside and see it in action. Let's do it. Hey, kids, come here. Let me tickle your funny bone. Why was the graveyard so noisy? All the coughing. Add some candy. Bone appetite. Man, Sam, well, this is awesome. It's gonna make for a totally creepy Halloween. Yeah, and if you wanna make your own before Halloween, check out my Instructable in the description. All right, well, have a safe and fun Halloween, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, kids, come here. Let me tickle your funny bone.